guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk about essential oils today. Um, I've been using essential oils for about three years now, and I wanted to talk a little bit about some new to me brands that I have found to be really high quality and very cost effective. So stay tuned. When I first started using essential oils, I kind of just didn't know much about it and I decided to purchase some from doTERRA. doTERRA is a multi-level marketing company. It means that their distributors make a cut from every product that they sell. Um, I have nothing against those sorts of companies, but generally that means you're going to be paying a slightly higher rate. That being said, I do really enjoy doTERRA oils. They have wonderful blends that I really enjoy. doTERRA and Young Living are for me, quite similar companies. I know a lot of people are gonna say, no, they're completely different, um, but they are both the MLM companies. Both have a very high price point. I think even Young Living is slightly higher. When I started using the oils, um, I think I went with a kit from doTERRA. It was like their medicine cabinet type kit and it had a lot of their popular oils in it. I think I paid, I wanna say, over $100 for that. Um, there's 10 oils in there, 5 millimeters each. When I got the oils, I started using them topically as well as in my diffuser. That's how I prefer to use them. doTERRA and Young Living will say that it's completely safe to ingest oils. I personally felt wary about ingesting oils. I was really nervous to ingest the oils thinking that it might disrupt my digestive system and after further research I found that that is probably a wise idea for me. All of our gut lining is very very sensitive. These oils are very very po powerful. For example, one drop of uh, peppermint oil is equal to drinking 75 cups of peppermint tea. Just because they are natural from the earth, from plants, from tree bark and all that sort of stuff from nature, it does not mean that they are completely safe when ingested. Most aromatherapists will advise not to take them internally. I'm actually going to read you something from um, Aromatherapy's Code of Ethics. When they get certified, they have to um, take a code of, code of ethics much like a medical professional. Um, and I'll just read that to you now. So basically it says, no arom aromatherapist shall use essential oils for internal ingestion or internal application, nor shall any aromatherapist advocate or promote such use of essential oils unless the practicing aromatherapist has medical, naturopathic, herbalist, or similar qualifications and holds an insurance policy which specifically covers the internal application of essential oils. It's well known and it's easily searchable that it's not always best to ingest these oils. But as always, I think you should do your own research and do what you feel comfortable with. Some Blends that I really, really enjoy from doTERRA and some um, oils that I really, really like from them. The first one being Digest Zen. I'm actually almost out of this. Um, this is their digestive blend and it has things like ginger, peppermint, caraway seed, coriander seed, anise seed, tarragon, and fennel. I find that this one really works for me. I usually put about two drops in my hand and then I use fractionated coconut oil, what they call a carrier oil. There's many, many different kinds of carrier oils like hemp seed, grape seed oil, jojoba oil. There's just a lot of carrier oils that you can use. It's kind of a personal preference. I really enjoy fraction, fractionated coconut oil. So I just put that in my hand about a quarter size with two drops of this and then I rub it together and I rub it all over my stomach. It really helps with indigestion, heartburn, acid reflux, any any just tummy discomfort. I, I will probably always continue to buy this one from doTERRA even though the price point is high, it does work and I really really enjoy it. Another one that I really like and will always buy from doTERRA is their Citrus Bliss. If you are a citrus person this one is the best blend I have smelled. It's probably my all-time favorite oil. Um, it has a blend of wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, bergamot, uh, tangerine, clementine, and a bit of vanilla. I diffuse this one. I don't use it topically. It will make your house smell really, really good. It's very fresh, very citrusy, but it has that vanilla undertone, so you're going to get a lot of um, sweetness as well. And it just kind of makes you happy and Everyone who walks in my house is like, what are you diffusing? And it's just, I love it. It's a great, great blend. 
This one's not too bad of a price. It's more than I think it probably costs to make, but it's a wonderful blend and it's very, very strong and it works great. Another doTERRA oil that I really enjoy is one of their blends. It's already blended in a roller bottle. Um, it's called their Clary Calm and it's a monthly blend for women and it helps with cramps. I actually use it as a perfume too because it smells really nice. It has um, clary sage, lavender, bergamot, cedarwood, lang lang, geranium, fennel, carrot seed, palma rosa, and vitex. This is a really, really beautiful blend. It just smells really, kind of has a floral scent. I just rolled this onto my uh, lower abdomen and it really seems to work for me and I really love it. I will also continue to buy this one from them because I think it really, really works. It is expensive, but like I said, I think it's worth the amount since it works for me. As I mentioned before, doTERRA is very expensive. So oftentimes when I would buy the oils, it would burn a hole in my pocket and I would think that I can't use this oil very much because I want to make it last a really long time. And so that kind of brought me to a few months back when I thought, you know what, there's got to be companies out there that are doing really pure grade essential oils, 100% undiluted, no solvents, no fillers, no nothing at a better price point. There's just got to be. Essential oils have been around for a very long time and so I did a lot of research. I came across another YouTuber that is super knowledgeable in um, essential oils and she had recommended um, a company called Floriana and I'm going to link her page down below. She has really informative essential oil videos as well as um, a lot of different health videos as well. She goes by Healing Cave Lady, um, but it, uh, I'll link it all below. These oils are from, I don't know if you can see that, they are from France and they're a small company and they only do single oils, so they don't do any of their own blends, they only sell the single oils and they are all, if I believe they're all organic oils as well, which is great. And they all come in this really cute tin thing. I don't know. It's just so cute. I don't know how to reuse them because they're just really well made. They're just really cute. Then they, of course, they come in an amber bottle, which is how you need to store your essential oils. They need to be in a dark place. They all come in an amber bottle um, to keep the sunlight out. The sunlight um, affects their properties. I started off with, I think, I think I ordered, my first order was about five different oils. Um, I was looking to make a blend that kind of smelled like fall. And so I think I had like clove in there, nutmeg, cinnamon bark. Um, uh, this is their orange. I bought that as well. The company that sells these, you can buy it directly from their website, which I also link below. But the shipping is very, very high because it is becoming shipped from France. Um, the company that sells this is called HealthyTraditions.com. I will link all of that below. They do offer free shipping a lot, otherwise it's $7, um, but usually I wait for a free shipping coupon and then I can get all my oils. Floriana uh, tests all of their oils. Within the aromatherapy sector, essential oil sector, there is a testing report that each oil goes through. If you're buying essential oils and they don't have that testing, I wouldn't recommend buying it. They can't verify the purity of the oil. You want to always buy 100% pure essential oil. The report that they do is called the GS-MC report and basically it's an analytical method to test the purity of the oil that if this is saying that it is orange oil that it is completely orange oil that they did not add any solvents or fillers or dilute it any, at all. Rihanna has all their GCMS reports on each oil. So when you click on the oil, they have the report that you can click on and download and you can actually look at it yourself. I know that doTERRA does that as well. I could not find access to it. They, um, when I went to see the reports, they wanted me to enter in a quality ID. Um, I didn't go any farther than that because I don't really know what that means. That being said, I think it's really important and it's really transparent of these companies that put those reports on their website under each product. It just gives me peace of mind that they have done their due diligence in terms of making sure that they are providing a product that is 100% pure. I have been really, really impressed with Floriana. I think they make beautiful oils. When you smell them, you can tell that they are just completely pure. The scent is really what you would expect. 
um, it's a smell like so I have used doTERRA, doTERRA's peppermint in the past um, and I do like peppermint it just has a different scent than this one which is okay doTERRA's smells more like what I would say like a candy cane or it has a more of a sweet tone Floriana's peppermint smells more of a like what you would smell on a peppermint leaf so if you picked up a mint leaf and you rubbed it between your fingers and you smelled um, the oil that was left behind that's what that smells like it smells exactly like peppermint but has that slightly earthy smell to it still as well whereas I found with doTERRA um, it does not have that smell I think this is a lot of personal preference some people like one oil from a company versus another company the, all the oils are gonna have slightly different smells based on where where the herb was actually harvested what time of year it was harvested so it's not necessarily a bad thing when they smell different I would highly recommend buying from them buying their single oils I think I will from now on I will only buy Floriana single oils I love them I think they're some of the best on the market and they, their price point is spot on they are very affordable and they are very very high quality on to another company that I um, recently discovered that I really really love is plant therapy they are also a very good company they have their GC MS reports on every single oil and that you can download you can look at um, to verify their purity they also batch test each oil which is amazing I haven't bought a lot of their single oils so, so I can't say much about that um, I do plan on buying some of their single oils just to test them out see how I like them compared to Floriana but some of their synergy blends are really good I actually first discovered plant therapy when I bought a, a kid safe blend for my daughter called growing pains um, this is supposed to help with sore muscles helped with my daughter's sore legs which is why I bought it plant therapy is one of the only companies that has come up with a, a kids line that is completely safe because not all oils are safe for kids especially undiluted don't ever use an undiluted oil on a child um, and always double check that it is safe just like any medication they are not going to be using the same amount that you would be using so it's just always good to check on that. Some of the Synergy blends I have really, really enjoyed. Two of them that I have recently bought is their Immune Aid and their Germ Fighter Aid. They have also recently come out with an, an organic line, um, which is really great as well. I prefer to buy organic oils only because I want to make sure that um, I'm not getting pesticides or anything like that. I actually blend these together. I put about three drops of each in my diffuser. I run it throughout the house and so far I think it has helped with sickness. Um, I also have been putting the germ fighter diluted onto my feet at night before I go to bed as well. In terms of price, these are very, very affordable. I think they're each about $10 a bottle. These are 10 mils each, these bottles. Because you're buying directly from a company and not pay, not paying essentially a middleman, which is kind of how MLM was work, you're going to save yourself some money and still get a really great product that works. Another couple blends that I have liked from them, um, I got this one for free on a promotion called Holiday Season. And it's just like their holiday blend and it's really, really nice. It smells really good. I've been really impressed with how they, these diffuse. They're very, very strong and they omit throughout my house, which is really telling for an oil. If they dissipate a lot um, really quickly and you don't smell them very well, um, that can often mean that they are not a, a completely pure oil. Another one that I, I'm not, I'm kind of 50-50 on this one. Um, this one's called Love Vanilla and all it is is uh, vanilla and Lang Lang. For me, I particularly only smell the Lang Lang in this. I think I will try and add more vanilla to it. I think it smells slightly too floral for me. Everybody's body chemistry is slightly different, so one oil that somebody finds really helpful for them, you may not find helpful for yourself. So it's important to try uh, different oils and see which ones work for you. Another thing I really like about plant therapy is that they come in really large bottles if you want to. This is, I ended up getting a tea tree oil, which is also called Melaleuca. This one is a 30 mil. They also come in 100 mil. So if you really like a blend, um, you save a bit of money by ordering one that's a larger size. For example, the Germ Fighter 
and the immune aid also come in 30 mil and 100 mil which is really nice because during the cold and flu season you probably will go through um, a lot more than you generally would um, during a warmer time of the year another company that is super affordable and also produces high quality 100 percent pure oils is eden's garden and i have not used a whole lot of these um, I only have so far purchased vanilla. I do plan on buying a lot of their blends because they seem really, really good. This one smells really, really great. I actually have it diffusing here with sweet orange. It kind of smells like a creamsicle, which I really like. Um, it's very sweet. It makes your house smell really nice. One of the reasons I started using essential oils is basically because I really wanted a nice smelling house without having to use um, synthetic fragrances, the plugins that have petrochemicals in them and all different toxic ingredients. They are not healthy to breathe in. They are certainly not healthy for your children to breathe in. So essential oils is a great way to do that. You can get yourself a diffuser. There's many, many on Amazon, and I'm gonna link one below that has very good ratings and works really well um, for small spaces and large spaces. Please be aware that essential oils are just one tool in a large toolbox and to assist any ailments that you might be having or any issues that you might be having. You need to be attacking problems that you're experiencing on multiple different levels, especially um, addressing what you're eating. You should be eating a non-GMO organic diet, addressing any gut intolerances that you have, um, rebalancing your gut. Essential oils are a great aid but they certainly, more than likely, will not cure you from every issue that you are having. We are a mind, body, and spirit, and if those are not functioning together, um, or if one is suffering, the others are gonna suffer as well. You need to address the body and how it's functioning. You need to address your mind and your emotional health, um, whether that's seeing a counselor. I see a counselor once a week. I have suffered from anxiety my entire life, and this is what has worked for me. You can't just simply address one issue. Um, for me, the spirit is one of the key that people miss. Um, I am a Christian, and that is a big part of healing completely. So I just encourage you, if you are having issues or you're having suffering from ailments that you can't figure out, that you are attacking it on every single level. As always, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.